no dinosaurs in the city. They already went extinct. Hmm. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if dinosaur never went extinct? Let knowledge click. 66 million years ago, dinosaur ruled the earth. Until a meteor struck the earth and wiped them out. Now imagine if the meteor had never hit the earth. Oh no! So, what would happen if dinosaur and humans coexisted? It wouldn't be easy for the dinosaurs, because despite of their small size, humans have the ability to hunt animals many times bigger than themselves. Based on the intelligence of some dinosaur species, we might even be able to tame them to help with human life. For example, raising them for meat and egg, in farming, or even communicating. We could even keep a dinosaur as a pet, right? Mm. Oh. Another theory suggests that if dinosaur hasn't gone extinct, humans might not exist today. Wow. Wow. If the asteroid hadn't hit, the world could have turned out very differently. Ah. That's it for today. Join Wufu <laughs> as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episode. Wow! Wow! Oh. Look! Oh. Smoke is coming out of the mountain! Hey. Is someone having a barbecue inside? Mmm! <laughs> oh. mm. oh. It's not a barbecue, dear. That's a volcano. I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. Deep inside our Earth, it is very hot. It's so hot that it melts the rocks inside. The melted rocks are called magma. When the magma comes up and flows out of the volcano, we call it lava. Wow! It's like when boiling water spills over. That's right. How hot could the lava be, Dr. Who? Ah. It's even hotter than your mom's pizza oven. Mm. It can burn everything on its way. We can just use water to put it off. That wouldn't work, kids. There are thousands of underwater volcanoes deep in the ocean that are still active. Do the fish get burned? In some places near underwater volcanoes, the water gets so hot, it changes color. But some super special creatures can still live there. Volcanoes are amazing. But they can also be very dangerous if we don't know how to stay safe. So remember these important rules, kids. If you hear a volcano warning, on the radio or TV. Get your emergency bag ready. Pack clothes, food, water, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and anything important. Quickly leave the danger zone, just like the grown-ups tell you. And wear a mask, so you don't breathe in the volcano dust. Once you're in a safe place, just stay calm and wait until it's safe again. We got it!
kids? Do you know why giraffes have such long neck? Let knowledge click! Mm. First, we need to know where giraffes live. Giraffes live in a grassland and open woodlands of Africa, where there are lots of tall trees like acacia trees. A famous theory says that giraffe long ago didn't have long necks like they do today. Animals that were shorter could only eat low leaves, so they had to compete for food. Giraffes had to stretch their necks to reach higher leaves over many generations. Their necks slowly got longer until they became the giraffes we see today. The giraffe's long neck is also linked to a fun behavior called necking. Necking is when the male giraffes use the long necks to strike each other to assert their dominance. They swing their necks at each other until one gives up. So having a longer, thicker neck means a better chance of winning. I got it! <laughs> the wind come from? Oh, I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. Wind oh. starts with the sun ah. wufu. Really? The sunlight hits the air on earth, but not evenly. When the sun shines, the warmer air rises up into the sky. Then cooler air from the other places rushes in to fill the empty space. And just like that, the wind begins to blow. But the wind just blew away our cake and picnic <laughs> mat. It didn't help at all. Oh no, Wufu. Wind can help people in many ways. Look. The wind helped oh. Sobo travel across the ocean. <laughs> the wind can make electricity for the whole village. And the wind lets us play super fun games, too! Wow. <laughs> wind is helpful, but strong wind can also be dangerous. So tell me, kids, what should you do to stay safe on a very windy day? Run and play when it's windy. Stay under big strong trees. Keep away from things that might blow away. <laughs> But why does it rain? I'll tell you why. Let knowledge clean. When it's sunny, the heat makes water from rivers and lakes evaporate. That means it's turned into tiny water drops and go up into the sky. As the drops go higher, they meet cold air. Then they stick together and make clouds. When the clouds get too heavy, they can hold the water anymore. The drops fall down to the ground. That's called rain. Some of the rain goes into the ground and becomes underground water. That's called the water cycle. But how can we know when it's going to rain? When the water drops in the cloud gather together, they block the sunlight. That's why the clouds look darker. It's like thin glass is clear, but thick glass looks dark. Clouds work the same way. Oh, so mm. the darker the clouds, the more it's mm -hmm. going to rain? Exactly. Dark clouds are warning. Big rain is coming. 
Run inside or bring a raincoat or umbrella if you need to go out. We got it! Mm. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.